When we think about climate change solutions, we you know we know about solar panels and windmills, electric cars, energy efficiency, all those kinds of things. But there are also some very exciting new technologies just out over the horizon that might help us combat global warming as well. For example, there's a really cool idea of artificial leaves kind of using new biotechnology to create things that actually draw carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and turn it directly into fuel that we can burn in our vehicles. That would be amazing. Or a building that achieves basically net zero waste by recycling and reusing all of its materials and all of the things that normally flow out of a building into the landfill. Or a building that generates more electricity than it consumes inside the building, sending that energy back out into the grid great ideas or ideas of what are called like you know hyperloops where we could have incredible high-speed transit with little pods elevated by magnets that don't even touch the ground inside giant tubes that are, have a vacuum with no wind resistance at all moving at hundreds of miles per hour these could use like 95 99 percent less energy than the way we move stuff and people today they could be radically fast sending people from san francisco to la in minutes not hours and hours waiting at the airport. Boy, I can't wait for those to happen. That'd be fantastic. But I wanna urge a little bit of caution. We can't wait for the future to get to work on climate change. We have gotta do stuff now that we can do today while we're waiting for those other solutions to come on board. So artificial leaves, great, but we already have actual leaves today. So while scientists are working to take these artificial leaves that can make jet fuel out of, you know, out of artificial photosynthesis, Let's plant some trees out there in the real world right now and get our agriculture and forestry practices to be better. Let's plant trees throughout our cities, which also suck up CO2 out of the atmosphere, but they also help keep cities cool by shading the landscape. We also have the ability to reduce energy use right here, right now, by changing our lighting, tightening up our buildings, using less energy overall. Those things have been around for decades. Let's make sure we're using those tools as well. And while I love the idea of new electric cars and hyperloops and you know very high-tech, high-efficiency transportation, could we do more telecommuting, telepresence? Do we have to always go to work every day in commuting or do we have to go to that conference in an airplane? Maybe we could just use virtual communication and teleconferencing too, which is another drawdown solution. So why don't we pick those low-hanging fruits that are available right now, today, while we're waiting those other fruits to kind of ripen up on the upper branches of the tree a little bit longer. So if we rethink the whole act of transportation, deciding do we even have to go on that trip in the first place, we could achieve tremendous savings of time, energy, money, and greenhouse gases, helping to make the world better.